My name is Guido Vroeme. I'm a sports physician. I have my own sports medicine practice as a mom in the Netherlands, and I work with a lot of endurance sports athletes. I have cyclists like a pro continental team and Ironman triathletes and also an Olympic hand biker. Congratulations, you bought a power meter and now what should you do? Well, there are a couple of things you should do. First, we have to do some tests and we're going to do prof power profile testing. And what tests are we going to do? Well, there are four tests you need to do. You need to do a maximum five seconds, a maximum one minute, a maximum five minutes and a maximum 20 minutes. We're going to do two days of testing. Test day one. You start with a good warm-up. After that, you go for a five-second all-out sprint. After that, 10 minutes easy riding. And if you're feeling good recovered, you go for one minute all-out. After that, again, easy riding, 10 to 20 minutes, and go then for five minutes all out. Take some cool down and then it's the end of test day one. Upload your data and I will check them. Make sure you have at least one recovery day between the two test days. Better is two or three so you're fully recovered when you're going to test for the second day. Test day two. This is a time trial. It's a 20 minute time trial and first you do a good warm-up of 20 to 30 minutes and then you start your 20 minute time trial. Don't start too fast, but don't start too slow. Just try to keep an easy pace which you can maintain for 20 minutes. After that, take a cool down and then you're finished for test day two. Thank you for uploading on Cyclosphere. Have fun on riding with a power meter the next couple of days and always upload after every training ride your data. I'm going to check your data from your test rides. I'm going to analyze those and will give you advice as soon as possible. If you need any support, please feel free to contact me. Good luck.